And I'm going to take a break here and rename these joints so that it's easier for us to know what they are. We have jaw. And we have head, hip. All right. I'm going to go back to the weight paints editor and then we can see, uh, see the jaw, the head tip there. All right. So go back to the jaw. And you can start to see that after a couple iterations, we're starting to get a mouth that will open successfully. And I'm going to take over here and grab uh, grab one of these joints, and I'm going to quickly uh, get this this joint rotated back to zero. And I'm going to paint out the neck a bit here. And we're going to add some weights to the neck so that uh, those deformations around the neck are weighted. Now this is not a neck rig. This is just, uh, I'm painting weights on one joint so that uh, we can focus on the jaw. Um, and as you can see, you know, you kind of start out blocking your weights in and just segregating them uh, into sections. And uh, the skin cluster will normalize them for you, which is really nice. And then if we go over here to uh, the head tip, segregate those weights in a little bit more. And then if we go to the jaw again, give those the uh, final pass. One last blocking stage. All right. So now if we open up the jaw, We'll see that we have, you know, a mouth that opens and a jaw that seems somewhat rigid. And we got a little artifact up there in the ears. We can clean that up. Get that back in the head tip there. Get that back in the head tip there. Get and, you know, you'll continue to go through and clean up things like that as you see. And what we want to do is uh, go back to the jaw and do a little smoothing on that smooth brush so that uh, this region continues to smooth out. And we'll grab a little tip of the ear in there. Nice and distributed. We'll go to the head tip and do the same thing. So we can see that uh, we're mixing some of the weights to get some of the pull from the cheek. Do a little pull on the skin of the upper lip when the jaw opens. Make it look a little more natural. And this is all part of being a character TD, it's not just technical and it's not just creative. Um, it's both. That's the important thing to realize. Um, that's the important thing to uh, come to terms with and to embrace um, as a character TD. Painting weights is, uh, it could be viewed by some as tedious. I think it's awesome. Uh, you know, you can, you can introduce some really beautiful effects by painting weights and spending a lot of time uh, carefully painting weights. And so uh, I think it's important to uh, to realize that. So now you can see that we've uh, kind of got the jaw opening and it's not looking too bad. So if we rotate this now, eh, it looks fairly decent, uh, you know, for a starting point anyway. Um, now, uh, one of the things we want to do is kind of look at the anatomy of a mouth. And you'll know, you'll realize, you'll, you'll sort of notice is, um, and this, I'm going to set this up pretty quickly. You can spend a lot more time uh, rigging this yourself. But you know, this is an anatomy of a mouth, um, and there's some weird motion in the ears over here. We're going to ignore that. Um, but, uh, you know, paint the weights and get rid of that and make that better. But the anatomy of the mouth, uh, the mouth stretches, there's skin, and it's, 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 it's a lot more, uh, looks a lot better than, uh, than just, you know, sort of this volume, uh, you know, just the same volume as it opens and closes. Uh, that's not really the way a mouth is meant to look um, when it opens. So what we want to do is we're going to set this rotation back to zero. You know, we have the default model back here that we bound and we skinned. And we're going to duplicate it off and move it over to the side. And we duplicate it, we need to unlock the channels. 
a block. All right, let's just uh, translate that guy here to the side. And we want to create a blend shape that's going to blend in in front of the skin cluster. And uh, we're going to use that blend shape to kind of correct and model in what the shape of the mouth could look like. This is kind of the concept behind post-based deformations. This isn't exactly a post-based deformation kind of setup that we're going to do in the least, but it's, uh, it's the idea of modeling and uh, using other deformers to tweak your, your model as it deforms and as it skins. So the first thing I'm going to do is just uh, grab that guy and grab that guy, go to uh, edit deformers, or sorry, create deformers, go to blend shape options. Um, let's call this, uh, let's just call this corrective. Blend, and this is a pretty old school technique. And we'll go to uh, front of chain, which means it's going to go in before the skin cluster, and click apply. You see there's our corrective blend, and when we turn it on, it does nothing, because the model hasn't changed yet. So we'll just leave it on, we'll set it to 1 right now, so we can see our changes. And we'll go ahead and we'll open the jaw here, using the rotate. And we have an open jaw. Okay, so, the next thing we want to do is go ahead and grab this guy, and I'm going to move him a little closer here. Um, once we apply deformers to this, we can't really move him around anymore. So I'm going to lock his uh, translate values off. And I'm going to grab it and I'm going to create a lattice on him. Um, yeah, you know, actually, why don't we do it with soft mods? That sounds like fun. So I'm going to take a soft mod, and uh, that's this tool over here, and soft modification tool. And I'm going to grab the soft mod tool and uh, you know, make its, its distance a little big here, a little bit bigger, and I'm going to push that to the side. You see, as I push that to the side, it's changing the model of the thing. I'm going to do the same on this side. All right, so it's starting to look a little bit more of like flesh. Um, and you can see what I've done is just kind of pinch the skin on this model using, uh, and it's blending into this, and it's and it's changing the shape of this, uh, this model here. All right, so I'm going to take this and maybe add a little bit of scale. those pieces down a little bit, and we're starting to get something that looks a little bit better. Um, now maybe I'll uh, pull this down a little, put it in wireframe mode so I can see uh, I can see what kind of changes I'm making. Um, pull this down a little, pull this down a little bit, and uh, yeah. That looks like a uh, like kind of a good start, you know. It, it gives it gives you the idea, it gives you the concept. Um, you spend a lot more time really tweaking this and, and, and modeling it out, and you know, like um, taking a look at the uh, way the nose gets pulled down as uh, it's really good. Kind of look at the way the nose gets pulled down as the uh, as the mouth opens. So let's do a little bit of that. Fun. And uh, you know, just changing the, really sculpting out the model and making it, uh, making it look realistic over here by by sculpting on that. Texture. All right, so let's say that that's acceptable to us, um, just for purposes of argument and uh, for the purpose of demonstration. Um, And that looks pretty good. Okay, so we've got this model, and it's blending into this model using a blend shape, front of chain. And if we change this attribute, it will change from uh, kind of default looking.